Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you the Hauga chest of three drawers from IKEA. I'm going to unbox it, show you how to assemble the Hauga chest of drawers and also going to review it. A lot of people find the assembly of IKEA furniture very difficult and frustrating. I personally love to unbox and put them together like a puzzle. So I will try to make this as easy as possible for you. And if you like this video, please hit the like and share it. And if you like our channel, it's all about travel, unboxings, etc. Please subscribe. Here are the two boxes that the Hauga chest of drawers uh, comes in. So now let's unbox it and I will show you the tutorial and how to build the Hauga chest of drawers. The best way to open the box is cutting with a knife right on the edge. Here is the assembly instruction manual of the Hauga chest of drawers. Let's have a look what we need for it and what should be included in the boxes. So here you can see what you need. You need a screwdriver, electric or manual. You need a hammer and a pen. So now let's have a look if everything what should be in the boxes is included in the boxes. On the first page you can see here this part, um, it's in a separate bag inside the boxes. This is, these are the parts to attach the Hauga chest of drawers to the wall to fix it for security. And here on the next page you will see all the other parts to put the Hauga chest of drawers together here. I always do an inventory at first, before I get started I check that everything is included. So let's do that. Please also let us know in the comments box below what part of the assembly of the Hauga chest of drawers you found the most difficult yourself. And also please share any tips you have for other people. That would be really helpful for anyone watching this video. Thank you. Here you can see number one, all these parts here. I've sorted them here. Nicely checked that everything is there. And then here is A, another part, all these different parts. So here you can see them here and here I've sorted them all nicely, made sure everything is there and here are all the wooden panels etc. So first of all we take the two outer wooden panels and we put them on the floor like they have in the image here. So the side wooden panels. Here you can see them and put them here so they you can see the, where the screws come in, you can see that part and also here the corners. Align them like this. Then we have three metal bar packs here and two metal bars in the pack are the IKEA CL and IKEA CR metal bars. So we have to just open it up these metal packs and see, have a look. So there are three of these metal bar packs. We open it up and then you will have four metal bars in each of these three packs here. There is a bit of plastic, you can get rid of it. So when you open it up you have these four metal bars and you can see on them there's some tiny writing here. You check this IKEA CL code. On this one. Then you take this one, that's number two. Here you can see IKEA CR. So then you have also these two metal bars here. Let me show you. Um, here it says IKEA DR and IKEA DL. At this stage we're only going to use the C metal bars of each of the packs and the D metal bars we are going to use later. On page 29 you can see IKEA DR metal bar and IKEA DL. You can see these metal bars are going to be added to the bottom of the drawers. So we don't need those right now, the D bars, so we will put them aside until later. Now let's have another look at this image. You can see the wooden panels are here on the ground like this with the sort of edge going downwards in the middle 
and in that direction you will have to put the wheels of these metal bars of IKEA CL and CR. IKEA CL goes on the one side and IKEA CR goes to the other side. So like this here. Check that the holes are aligned like you have it. Then here you can see this side is IKEA CL. On each bar on the side is IKEA CL and the wheel goes like this here. Check this edge goes down. So one, two, three holes here. There's one, two, one, two, three. Then you put this here. One hole, another one here and a little one here. Then you do the same thing with the next metal bar, also IKEA CL here in the middle, like this, and the wheel goes downwards, one, two, three, and the bottom metal bar is the same thing here and here. Then on the other side, you can see the wheel is also in this direction, So here we have a wheel there, there, where this goes down. That's where the wheel goes in that direction here, here and here. So just make sure it aligns downwards and on the other side it's the IKEA CR metal bar on each side. So here, here, CR and also here, IKEA CR. Next, you're going to take the screws 146114 here, and you will put these screws in the three holes that I showed you where the metal bars come. So 146114. So here, these are these tiny screws here. They go where these three holes are, where the metal bars are. I am going to start with the middle screw here. I take the metal bar and you have to align it nicely so it fits on top of the holes. So here I will take the screw, put it in and put it inside. So make sure it's all aligned nicely. Also make sure that these screws go in properly. Um, if the screws stick out a little bit, the drawer might not fit in the Hauger chest of drawers. So you got to be careful that it fits nicely. So I start in the middle and then I put the screw on each side as well, on the right and then on the left. And I do that with all the metal bars. So now let's continue. Now you're going on the other side and you're going to do the same thing. You put the screw in the middle first and then on each side you put a screw in. If you're having a bit of a problem with the alignment, you could also put the screws in each hole of the three just a little bit. And then once they are properly all aligned, then you can properly fix it tight, screw it tight. That's what I would suggest to you. And you do this now with all the other metal bars. So with all six metal bars, you do it exactly the same. The second step is to put the security wall fitting onto the unit here, onto this board. This is the security stuff that goes onto the unit and onto the wall. And I'm just going to add it here. I'm not going to add it on the wall, but I'm just going to add it here. Let me show you which panels we have left over. So we have done these two. Then we have this panel, one, two, three, four, with these plastic pieces here. And here, and on the other side. And on the other side, on the other side, there's nothing here. And then we have this part here 
um, with these plastic pieces on each corner. Um, we have here one hole, here one hole, and here one hole. And so I aligned it like they did here. And we have two boards here where these pieces obviously go in. But let's add the security part onto this part here. These screws here in the back left are the ones who go into the wall and these ones here are the ones who go onto the Hauga chest of drawers. So yeah, this goes into the wall and these go onto the unit. We take this part here and put it on top of this hole. And the same we would do on the other side. You just have to check that it's all properly aligned. On each side similarly. Then you take the metal ring, put it on top, you take the smaller screw and screw it fixed. Let me show you a bit close up. So there's the hole, here is this metal bar, the metal ring goes on top where the hole is and then the small screw is fixed here into the wood, screwed in. Then you go on the other side and you do the same thing. You just need to make sure that the measurements fit the other side. So you put it here on top. So I just double check the measurements. You put it on top of the hole the metal ring on top, then you take the smaller screw and you fix it, screw it tight. And then obviously the end part goes into the wall with these other screws that I showed you already. Step number three is to take this lower board and attach it here to the sideboards. And now let's do this. Now we are going to take this side part of the chest of drawers here, this wooden panel. And then we are going to slide the lower part into here. You have these four holes here in the middle and they have to face downwards here, these four holes. Now let's turn it around and we just slide it into here. In step number four you connect the upper wood panel with the side wood panels. So we turn it around like this, the upper part of the Hauga chest of drawers. And you can see here, let me show you, the um, wall um, security metal bars are showing this way. Here are three holes at the top. That's the upper part of the chest of drawer. So make it so it looks this way. So this metal goes downwards like this. And then here are these three holes and then you slide it here. On the right, you slide it into it. And step five, we put the other side on there. So you take it like this, here you can see, and then you sort of slide it in there and then you push down here. Make sure it's nicely pushed down and fixed in there. Step number six is to take these two wooden pegs and attach them to this smaller wooden panel here. And this wooden panel is at the bottom of the Hauga chest of drawers. Here you can see there I'm just putting this on there and slide this board at the bottom in. Step number seven is to attach the feet here, these plastic pieces, to the bottom of the Hauga chest of drawers. So here you can see these ones here, this and these. 
This one goes on these corners here, here and here. And this one goes up here one and one up here. And now you take eight of these pieces here, these, and you attach them four on each side. So here, 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 and here, and on the other side the same. So we put one in here, and in here, and in here, and up here. Here you can see it, the back panels will slide into it, there, these will sort of slide into it in step number 9, so here you have to have them aligned like this, so these holes they fit in there, in step number 9. Now here you can see the back panel of number 9, here is a hole, here is a hole, there's one hole and here's one hole, there's a smaller hole and so this has to face to the back and this is at the top, this panel. So let's take this and you just slide it in the top part of the Hauga chest of drawers here in there and you have to push it down a bit. Let me show you a close-up. So here you can see that screw coming through, or whatever plastic part here. You just have to push it down. And the same on the other side. Then we take the lower panel here. Just have to make sure that it's the right way. Um, that's on the inside, so let me just turn it around. That shows to the back of the Hauga chest of drawers. So here you have a big hole. Then you have here one facing downwards, this one also facing downwards, and to the back. And you also slide it in. So we've done step number 9 and now we have to move on to step number 10. So we need to take these two larger plastic screws and put them in here. So here these ones, let me show you, they're also smaller plastic screws. You need to use these ones. We take this larger screw here, put one here. And then we take this one and push it in on top, then we go to the other side, here, push this one in first and then this as well. In step 11 we take four of these plastic screws, the smaller ones here, these ones. We put one here, one here and one here and one here. So they go in these bigger holes here. These, there. Stick this one in first and then this one to close it. Push it in. And the same we do with all the others. And there and on the other side. So four holes, you do the same thing. Next we're going to take the Hauga chest of drawers and put it upright. In step number 12 you have to take these three small wooden pieces and put them at the bottom of this smaller panel and then you have to slide the panel here in the, into the chest of drawers. 
So there you go, it's properly aligned here, like this. Then we take two of these screws again, the smaller ones. So we put one in here, push it in, and then we take the other part on top and push it in as well. The same thing we do on the other side. Push, push this in and then this one. That's why you have to make sure it's all properly aligned before you put these screws in. In step number 14 you take this part and you put it here and you use the screws 105811 and there you put them in there, just one part. Step 15, 16, 17 and 18 is to attach the Hauka chest of drawers to the wall with these screws here and here you can see how it's done. As I said, I'm not doing that right now. Now let's move on to step number 19. Here you can see how to put the drawers together. Here you can see a finished piece, a finished drawer I'm putting here into the Hauka chest of drawers and now I'm going to show you how to put them together. Here are the screws for the drawers. I have them arranged here. You can see them here. I've organized them. And first of all, you take what will be seen the front of the drawers, that panel, but you turn it upside down and you put these panels here. This is step number 19. We take these screws here and put one here on the outer and one there on the outer on the larger wood panels of the front. At the back 118331 these screws and on the smaller piece we want to put a screw in here and in here in the first and the second hole as you can see here Here you can see here and here of the big drawers and here and here and of the small drawers here and here is a screw and here and here. Step 20 is to put these wooden pieces into the sides of the chest of drawers here like this so let's do that. So here is the side panel and we put it in here one and here another one. So leave them out sticking out a bit like this. You basically want these wooden pieces here where there isn't a hole, like this hole is for the screws that come from the front of the drawers here through. So the wooden pieces come in the other holes. So here is the other side, let's do this one. Step number 21 is to attach the side panels onto the front of the drawers here. So you take this side panel and you would slide it in like this. You have to make sure that this part here, this sort of smoother round bit, is showing at the top and this shows outwards. So let's do this. Let's put it in here. Then we take the other side here. Same thing. Make sure this is at the top, this nice part here, and you slide it in. With the top drawer, though the smallest one at the top, you only put one wooden piece in here 
and then you slide it in here come will the screws will come through and on the other side you do it exactly the same the same thing we do on the other side in step number 22 you take um, here these plastic pieces and you add them into these holes into the direction the arrow goes off the screw that comes through like this so here you can see the arrow going downwards to the screw and you put it in so here and then you pull it upwards the arrow tight and you do the same thing with all these screws that are coming through here on the side here as well and now let me do it also on the larger one here. Again, the arrow going downwards. This is the larger drawer and upwards the arrow. So let's do it everywhere. So here nice and fixed here. Now next step is number 23 is to add the bottom part of the drawer into the drawer. So here you can see the white part is um, when you look into the drawer of the Hauga chest of drawers is where you would put your clothes on top. This is the bottom this brown part that goes underneath the drawer and this is obviously the nice design is when you open the drawer that you can see it and then you just slide it in here like this, align it nicely and then you take the other one as well put it in here So next we attach the back of the drawers onto the drawers. As you can see there's a larger and there's a smaller piece for the smaller piece of drawer. And number 24 is to attach a small metal part here to hammer it in to the back of the drawers. What is important with this metal part is that you put it in the right direction. Um, you can see here it sort of needs to hold the floor of the drawer up um, so you have to hold it the right way and you hammer it in here and in here in this one so now let's have a look here you can see this way it's obviously wrong because it's facing downwards the piece so we have to turn it around like this so it matches the image you see like this and then you hammer it into the back of the drawers so like this you can also see here are two reels in here see two at the higher end and two at the bottom you see them? That gives you another indication and you hammer it in here. So you hammer it in but don't hammer it in fully. Keep a little bit left here. You can see this much keep that sticking out because that keeps up the floor of the drawer that supports it. So here you can see, keep it this much, I'm just showing you. In step number 25 you take this back panel of the drawer and you attach it to the back of the drawer, here. Now let's take the back of the chest of drawers, remember this metal part keeps it up. So that goes underneath the floor here and you push it up and you slide it in here. So the metal part sticks out underneath it. 
Yeah. Number 26, you insert these plastic screws into the drawers here. So let me show you. Make sure it's nicely aligned everything here. Yeah, it's nicely aligned because if something doesn't fit, the drawers won't fit in it. And you can see here the metal piece is at the bottom of the drawer holding it up, the floor. So we take it, push it in, like that, it comes through. Next one, number two. Then we turn it around. And we do the same thing here and here. Make it so it's nicely tight. Then we insert these plastic pieces here and pull them tight. Remember you need to put them the arrow in the direction of the screw here and then you pull it tight and here again. The same thing you do on the other side again, arrow in the direction of the screw and here. And you do the same thing with the other two drawers. You take here the back part, you can see here is the metal piece, push it up the floor and you fix it nicely and then you attach the screws like you did before. Step number 28 is to attach the metal bars onto the bottom of the drawer. One metal bar is called IKEA DR that goes on one side and the other one is IKEA DL. What is very important with these metal bars is here, let me show you, is that the wheel is at the back of the drawer. So you have to attach it so the wheel is at the back. So here you can see IKEA DR and the other one is IKEA DL. Make sure everything is properly aligned here. So here you can see there is this metal piece at the back. So the wheel is here at the back of the drawer. So you take these small screws here. The wheel is at the back as I said, here. You attach it. And you take this screw and you screw it in loosely, that's what I did. And then when I had them all properly aligned on each side as well, the middle and the right and the left, then I screwed them tight. So let's do that. So you can see I leave a bit of a gap until they're all aligned and then I pull it all tight. Just make sure there's nothing sticking out at the end. There's no screws sticking out because otherwise the drawers won't fit. And I'm going to do this on all three drawers, the same thing on each side. Just make sure that the wheel of the metal bar is at the back of it and you do exactly the same thing. The final step, number 29, is to attach these knobs to the drawers. So let's do that. There's one here and one here. So this is how it looks. It goes like this. The best way to do it is to hold it on each side and to screw it in. So obviously the knob is on the outer part of the Hauger chest of drawers. So here and you screw it in. Take the screwdriver and finally we're gonna take the drawers and put it into the Hauga chest of drawers. Make sure this wheel is obviously at the back and it slides into the metal bar down here 
and that's it. So this is the final product. We will just add the top drawer here into it. Here you can see it. This is the final chest of drawers. Let me just show you, give you some idea of the size of it, of everything. Here is the instruction manual. That's A4 size, I think. So here you can see how much, how big it is. It gives you some idea of it. Um, here is some tape, packing tape I put in, so you can see this is the top drawer. It's obviously the smallest of the three drawers. And the other two are really nice and sizable, actually. So definitely good for anything you want to store, clothes, anything. It's a good sized chest of drawers, really nice. So here the top part of the Hauka chest of drawers is nice for some books here. You could put some books or other decorative items on there. So overall it's really nice and solid. So definitely a great piece of furniture.